So today what I'm going to do is show you all how to do how to use a 3D sketch. So we're going to do something really interesting here. We're going to make a little twist handle of some sort and um, we're going to use a 3D sketch to do that. So I'm going to go up and go to part or I'm going to go to open it and, and go to a new standard IPT and I've already opened that up so I don't have to waste any time. <clears throat> and I'm going to start with a 2D sketch. I know I said I'm going to do a 3D sketch. We're going to get there. But we're going to start off with a 2D sketch. And I'm going to start off with an XY plane here. And I'm going to just zoom out a couple of clicks on my wheel. I'm going to bring the absolute zero down. And I'm going to get my two point rectangle. Start at absolute zero, come up. And I'm going to do a quarter. So I'm going to do 2.25 and hit my tab key and by three inch rectangle. All right, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna finish that sketch and I'm gonna leave it unconsumed. So go to home here. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add a work plane and we're gonna pull that work plane away from here on the XY. So I'm gonna expand my origin and go over here to plane and select the plane tool. You can see that it's highlighted now in blue. I'm going to come over here to my <clears throat> XY, click on that. And then make sure you go into the middle here. Now, if you start messing around, you can see that you can change your plane around. But I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to pull this out. And as I pull it out, I'm going to type in six because I'm going to go six inches away. And I'm going to click on OK. So where did that work plane go? Well, again, we've got to go up here to home, go to the doghouse, and there's that work plane. So again, when I go over this way, you can see how it is six inches away from that original rectangle and the original work plane. So now I'm going to go ahead and put another Yes 2D sketch on this object. I'm going to bring it down here. We're going to go in and we're going to change this around. We're going to change the rectangle to a uh, two-point center. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to come out um, from my two-point center here. And you can see that, again, I can go three, hit my tab. This time I'm going to go 0.25 and hit enter. <clears throat> and I just guesstimated where it was going to be in the center there, and that's fine for what we're going to do right now. I'm going to finish that sketch, and it's going to be unconsumed as well. So I've got two unconsumed sketches over here. You can see that there's two unconsumed sketches with that work plane right there. So now I'm going to add a third work plane. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to my XY. And now notice that this has gotten bigger. That's because it entails both this length and this width right here. We're going to pull that out and guess where we're going to go with this. We're going to go three inches. I'm going to hit enter there and I am going to put on another sketch. All right. So I'm going to come back to my center rectangle here. Okay. And I'm going to click in the center here and here escape. It's not what I want to do. I don't want this one. Click into the center here. And I'm going to come out this way this time with this. So notice that I, I when it, the first time I did that, I came out on, I used the, uh, the other rectangle there. But this one, I can just do it this way and come out. And I'm going to come down to about a 45 degree angle. Okay, so, and I'm just going to get it close. And I could hit there and, and do all the tab keys and everything else. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to about a 45 degree and I'm going to go to about three inches here. And I'm just going to pop that out and I'm going to go to about a quarter inch. All right. <clears throat> so now we're finished all this and we've got these three sketches that are on different work planes. So they're in different work planes. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn off the visibility of the work plane by right clicking over here and unchecking the visibility on that one and unchecking the visibility over here on this one. So now I have these three sketches here of rectangles 
And what I want to do is I want to join them and make a twist from this. So now here we go. We're going to add a 3D sketch. So the 3D sketch means no, this was just a two dimensional sketch. This is a two dimensional sketch. This is a two dimensional sketch. So I have to go from a two dimensional to a two dimensional to a two dimensional, thus making a three dimensional sketch. Now notice that there's <clears throat> other things up here that when you go into a 3D sketch that you've got all sorts of different things that you can add. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a spline, but I'm going to use the interpolation spline, which is this one, not the controlled vertex. All right. Once you do this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this. I'm going to start on the <clears throat> I'm going to start on the top back corner of this first one. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go and get to the top back corner of this one. Okay, I'm going to pull these pull this out this way. And I'm going to come into the back top back corner of this one. And I'm going to select that. And once I select that, okay, now I've got this this line going from all there. <clears throat> and I'm just going to hit the check, the plus check mark here. Okay, and now I've got this that's moving from one corner to the next corner to the next corner. So you can see how it's going back corner to back corner to back corner. Very important that you guys do that, that they all go to the same corner. I'm going to go back up, get my spline again. And this time I'm going to start with the front top corner. Go to my front top corner and notice that I'm getting that green dot every time in the front top corner. And I'm going to go ahead and do the green check there. And again, so when you rotate this around, you can see that they do not cross over each other. Okay. They do not cross over each other. Really important to do that. <clears throat> All right. We're going to start doing the bottom ones now. So I'm going to come over here to the bottom. I'm going to click the back bottom. I'm going to click this back center. And I'm going to click the back front and check that off and go ahead and create that and i'm going to um, i'm going to go ahead and do my spline again here and i'm going to start off this time with the front bottom corner now notice here you got to be really careful i'm going to zoom in on this sometimes what you have to do is you actually have to go over here and rotate this just a tad bit okay so I'm Get the correct corner and get the correct corner here. So you notice how I rotated that to make sure that that was on the correct corner. Now let's go ahead and let's see if this is correctly done. I'm going to use my free rotate tool here and I'm just going to spin this around and make sure that my splines do not cross over one another and that they go to the corners. And you can see that that's exactly what happens here, okay? As I spin this, all right, you can see that none of those splines cross each other. And that's really, really important to do what we wanna do right now, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the home position here. Now, once we do that, now we can go ahead and we can finish this sketch, all right? And now we have four unconsumed sketches. Exactly what I told you not to do, correct? All right, so here's where the fun comes. We're going to go up to the loft tool. We're going to go back to this loft tool here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on this back rectangle and the middle rectangle and the front rectangle. Wow, that's already looking pretty cool, right? But there's still some issues here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to click on rails up here, click on that, and then click to add. So I just click to add there. Now, if you come up here, it's only going to allow you to select the ones that get highlighted. So we're going to select that one. And we're going to select this one. We're going to select this one. And we're going to select this one. So all three of those green splines now become blue in this particular case. And I'm going to click on OK. And look what happens. I'm going to make this chrome. 
I just think that the chrome looks really cool or polished copper, one of the two. Anything that's polished and shiny, I think really looks great with this. So let's go ahead and make this polished chrome. <clears throat> and if you have a good video card, unlike I have on my computer, um, it really, you can actually see, come on here. Okay, you'll actually be able to see some reflections <clears throat> at Autodesk. And uh, you can see how this thing twists around. And that's how we use a 3D sketch. That's just one of the ways to use a 3D sketch. And, and there's other ways of using 3D sketches as well. But that just gives you one idea. And you can see that you could use this as um, you've seen the old, the old handheld uh, can openers that has a twist handle. You could do it that way. You could use it for that. You could use it um, maybe for a, a propeller blade. Um, so you can do all sorts of different things with this, and it really becomes a very useful tool. So that's the 3D sketch. Hope you guys enjoyed it.